Hello people, um, hiya, how you doing? Sitting down, yeah, foot's good. Thought we'd have a quick look first of all and see how well the winter uh, protection stuff's done. So we can see the kind of rust on the pipe and that, you'd expect that, that's to happen. Um, we've got, now I have cleaned this a couple of weeks ago, but um, I'm not very good at cleaning bikes. So you can see there's some kind of gunk in there now. If I go, I'm trying to keep the light on it. That seems like the surface of the metal. So maybe I've missed a bit, maybe I've known. I mean, the wheels have come up okay. Swing arm's actually not too bad. I think it's done okay for the most part. Shocks are a wee bit kind of meh. But to be honest, they'll probably change them anyway for some better ones. So that's that. I'm going to have a little go through this now. We are going to do a rear brake adjustment because she's really almost coming back to the handle. Not a complaint about the brake, just, you know, it's just needs adjusting. Uh, I'll show you how to do that and we're going to do an oil change. Okay. So we're going to do a wee quick oil change. I've got the scoop warmed up a wee bit. Um, not roasting hot, I don't want to burn my blooming hands. Um, what we're going to do is there's a wee 12 mil drain there. We're going to take that out and then what we'll do is we will pop the screen out and we'll have a little look at the screen and we'll, we'll see if there's any gubbins in there. Now this is done. I had its 500 mile service at Honda. A drain pan ready. Because um, I've done the service plan, 300 quid, whatever it was for three years. Uh, however, it's done a thousand miles since then, and I'm just, well, I want to change the oil anyway. There's probably nothing wrong with it. Definitely no need service schedule wise or out, but I'm just partly bored, to be honest. And. We are partly liking to do these things a wee bit earlier because there's no oil filter on these with one two fives, you know, which freaks a lot of people out. And get this ready just for any spillage. So I'm gonna get the drain bolt out and we will try and catch the drain bolt as well. Let's try and do this. Let's see if we can make this look professional. First thing for everything, eh? Um, are we ready? Oh, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, the oil's actually still quite, it's quite clean. It's what I would expect for a thousand mile of oil. Nice and clean and clear. No debris on the sump plug. Not that it's magnetic anyway. Um, but the oil coming out, I'll just dab a bit of it on this cloth, white cloth, like see. So we can see, oh, missed the cloth quality. You can see the colour. Not wrong with that at all. That's fine. For a thousand miles, that's actually pretty clean. Um, it's an efficient wee thing, you know, it doesn't use a massive amount of fuel or anything that burns really clean, so I wouldn't expect the oil to be phenomenally dirty. <laughs> Unlike all this crap I did in the wash, which is class. Right, so we're going to let that go. I'm going to stop you there. Uh, we'll come back when that's finished and all drained out and we will uh, get this screen out so what we've got I'll just clean the GoPro, got blood and oil on it with my fingers this here's 17 mil, and this is effectively your oil cleaner so this is mesh oh, oh. that's the mesh that filters it Get a similar thing on the old air-cooled monsters. Um, you normally do clean the mesh out in the monster while you're doing the oil change as well, so it's not something I've done before. You know what I mean? So kind of used to it. Um, probably a better idea than what I have in the centre stand. Be able to get the oil tray a bit further back, but we'll just wait in the last bit of straining it, and that's why we've got trusty cloth. Right, so we're onto drips coming out of that. So let's move on, let the drips continue, uh, that sounds like your toilet train on a three year old that, that's a three year old. Oh, you extension on that a little bit, a bit more space. Just as usual with most things, once you break it, it's fine, once you kind of break the seal on it. So let's have a little examination. That's fine, that should drip in there. 
there. Oh, overflow. So there's no swarf or anything as you can see in the bottom of that. A filler plug there, make sure you don't lose the o-ring on that as well. Get a wee clean but keep it kind of lubed up so it seals nice. Take the spring out, spring goes in, remember what way the spring goes in, so the spring goes in that way. And then what looks like a thimble will come out. Yeah, there's a couple of tiny wee bits in there but nothing to be worried about. That's fine, what I'll do is give this a wee squatty with the bait clean up. One very very thin wave or thin shard or something, a wee bit of plating's come off something. I don't think there's anything to worry about for a bike that's in warranty. Um, certainly not enough for the bother me. And we will put our thimble back in. Now she's all clean. Along with the spring, and that way. And then I'll get this back on. the cloth there for any drips. Now I do have a torque wrench. I'm not telling you torque settings then in. I've just done it to FT the new. I'll go back off camera and I'll do it because I can't be bored digging it out there. Um, I'm just going to put a sump plug back in. I think we've got pretty much everything out of that. I mean these things take bugger all oil anyway. There's no massive amount in them to start with so um, it's not as if there's a lot to change. Ah, I'll be washing it wee clean. Should use a new one. But, to hell with it. Let's live life on the edge, shall we? Right. Now, all that happens with your old oil, as you should do, take it to the tap. Put it in the recycling. Don't do what they used to tell you in the old Haynes manuals of dig a hole in your garden and fill it with gravel so you can drain your old engine oil into it. Whatever the hell you do. The eco-Nazis will come hunting for you. And fair enough. A bad thing to do. Um, the brighter side of it is that when you do recycle it at the tip, uh, I can't speak for every council. <laughs> Dropped everything, man. I can't speak for every council, but I know that where I live, in South Lanarkshire <clears throat> You want to be really careful not to over tighten these things Especially those some bits Now, I have done it before And as a result I have A sump plug repair kit where you need to re-tap to a size up and put a bigger sump plug in I have no intention of doing that with this bike um, On to the filling side now but yeah, like I say, that, that if you recycle your oil at the tip, they turn it into, uh, up here, they say it gets turned into heating oil. So it does get used again, it does get use. Help folk out that, you know, that aren't on the, on the grid, as it were. Right, so I've got no idea what happened to the audio here, but the, basically we just refilled it up with oil. Couldn't get an angle on it with the camera. It's anybody that's put oil in a PCX, you know it's a pain in the backside just to get into. Just had to use a really long funnel. Um, so just heated it up and letting the oil drain a wee bit and we're just going to check the oil levels again but it's bob on so it's good to go. I'll catch you next time.